Welcome to Hitman Boxing. So I got to give Manny Pacquiao some props because he, he's starting to tell the truth a little bit now. You know, recently he's admitted to his past drug use. And no, it's not what we're all hoping he's admitting to. He's admitting to his past drug use, you know, back when he was fucking all those hookers and he was snorting all that fucking coke and, and dropping all those fucking pills and fucking e-pills and shit. He, he just admitted that he did all that shit. Now, his president, you know, Manny Pacquiao is a senator over in the Philippines, you know, president of the Philippines. Uh, uh, what the fuck is that guy's name? Rodrigo Duarte. Yeah, so that's the president over in the Philippines, and he's he's been running this anti-drug campaign for the past several months. Um, you know, there's been a lot of casualties, because you know how they do shit over in the Philippines. They be cutting motherfuckers' heads off and shit. But that's beside the point. Manny Pacquiao stated that the president doesn't know about his experience with drugs. Um, and he's very confident that this isn't going to hinder their relationship at all. So, you know, he, he comes out and says that he's been doing these drugs. Now, I say you take it a motherfucking step further, Manny Pacquiao, because we know you've been fucking juicing. We know you used to fucking juice. I seen what you did to Margarito. We seen what you did to Miguel Cotto. So why don't you go ahead and let us know what fucking steroids you was taking. We know you was on something, man. So, you know, you're a God-fearing man, or at least you claim you are. Go ahead and just tell the fucking truth, man. You was drinking the motherfucking shakes. You was shooting them, that fucking needle up in your motherfucking booty. You know what I'm saying? So... Be completely honest. Be 100% honest. Don't be 99.9% .9 honest. Tell us what really happened those years when you was knocking motherfuckers out. Motherfuckers two, three times your size, you was knocking their ass out. How come you stopped knocking people out, Manny? Now, I see you got your $2 haircut from fucking Supercuts, and you about to, to fight Jesse Vargas. I think you back on that shit, man. I seen you in them fucking videos. You look like you back on some shit, man. You got the same fucking haircut. You got that same fucking smile. You looking big as fuck. Pause. You looking like you're on some shit right now. All right? Now, when it comes to Manny Pacquiao and Jesse Vargas, I hope Jesse Vargas beat the fuck out of you. I hope he knock you out with that overhand right. I hope you at least knock your bitch ass down. But you know what? Like I said, you probably back on that shit again, right? Back on that juice with that fucked up haircut you got. And you're going to fucking destroy. You're going to destroy Jesse Vargas. It's unfortunate. But like I said, Manny Pacquiao and Mr. His Drug Use, his past drug use that he says was before he became a champion. Get the fuck out of here. Because when you start making more money, you don't stop taking drugs. The fuck wrong with you? You start buying better drugs. Instead of buying crack, you buy fucking coke, right? You know what I'm saying? Not, I'm not speaking from experience here. Shit. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? So fuck Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, I don't like his ass. I don't like Manny Pacquiao. So what? So what? Hope he get his ass whooped by Jesse Vargas, like I said. Yeah, I ain't been making videos. I made this one, though. Go ahead, throw my shit down. I don't give a fuck. Manny Pacquiao was on that shit. Y'all know he was on that shit. But y'all don't want to admit it. But it's all good, though. Hitman Boxing. As a matter of fact, what network is what, what network is Pacquiao and Vargas going to be on, huh? That shit going to be on Channel 11, y'all. WTTW. We're the only motherfuckers that want that shit. Hitman Boxing, I'm out.